explosive landforms. Able to eject molten rock and clouds of thick ash high into the atmosphere with devastating consequences. fault snaps, shaking San Francisco for nearly 60 terrifying seconds. When the trembling stops, the disaster is only beginning. Gas lines rupture, setting off massive fires. Some 700 people die. Most of the city is reduced to ruins. This trembling of the ground caused when masses of rock suddenly shift below the Earth's surface is called an earthquake. Hundreds of little earthquakes shake the planet every day, but most pass unnoticed. They usually occur along the boundaries of the thin plates that cover the Earth like an eggshell. Driven by the heat deep within the Earth's core, the plates grind against each other along lines called faults. When the plate's motion is blocked, stress builds up. Finally, the fault gives way. The released energy races through the Earth in the form of seismic waves. Scientists record these waves on a device called a seismograph. These zigzag lines show the strength of various seismic waves. Using the lines, scientists grade earthquakes on the Richter scale. For a quake to measure one number higher on the Richter scale, it must release about 30 times as much energy as the number below it. Every year, about 100,000 earthquakes rumble through the ground hard enough for people to feel them. Of these, only about 1,000 are strong enough to damage property. But a powerful earthquake can be devastating. On average, about 10,000 people die each year as a result of earthquakes. The greatest recorded earthquake ever to hit North America measured a massive 9.2. The tremor struck Alaska on March 28, 
1964. A camera on board a ship docked in Valdez recorded the draining of the entire harbor as a chasm opened up on the sea floor. There's no stopping the surface of the earth from changing and moving. So engineers are focusing on ways to create better buildings, highways and bridges, structures that will remain safe and stay in one piece the next time the earth begins to shake. A few hundred years ago, scientists believed that volcanoes were burning mountains of fire. Today we know they're really openings or vents to the hot interior of the planet. About 1,500 volcanoes around the world are classified as active. Nearly 90% of these rest in the Ring of Fire, a band circling the Pacific Ocean. Their location is no accident. While the Earth's surface looks stable, its crust is made up of immense slabs of rock, like puzzle pieces that constantly shift. Where these tectonic plates interact, volcanoes often form. Friction from shifting plates melts the Earth's crust, causing rock beneath the crust to liquefy. This molten rock, or magma, then becomes a volcano by erupting through rifts in the plates. Once magma escapes from the Earth, it's called lava. But not all lava is the same. Runny lava flows quickly and forms the gentle slopes of shield volcanoes. Thick, sticky lava doesn't flow as far and tends to form the steeper slopes of composite volcanoes. Composite volcanoes can erupt violently, hurling ash and lava at speeds up to 200 miles per hour. These eruptions sometimes blow away large chunks of the volcano itself. Some volcanoes, like Hawaii's Kilauea, form over hot spots in the Earth's crust, where magma rises in the middle of a tectonic plate. Kilauea is one of the most active volcanoes on the planet and has erupted continuously since 1983. Because Kilauea is a shield volcano, this constant eruption is a gentle one. Lava oozing from Kilauea constantly hardens into new land, making Hawaii the only state that's still growing. Living near a volcano can be hazardous, as the residents of Pompeii learned in the year 79 AD when Mount Vesuvius erupted, spewing superheated ash, poisonous gas, and rocks. This deadly combination, called a pyroclastic flow, is far more dangerous than a lava flow, Vesuvius buried Pompeii, claiming the lives of 2,000 people. Though volcanoes can be deadly, they also provide benefits. Volcanoes created 80% of the Earth's surface, as well as much of the air we breathe today. 
Volcanoes create rich soil for farming, and many countries harness their subsurface heat to create geothermal energy. Both creators and destroyers, volcanoes prove that beneath its calm surface, Earth remains a living planet and a restless one. Lost the Mickey Mouse.